hi, hello, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess, and it's time for the mid-year tag. Um, how? I'm not even gonna say it, but um, it's that time of year. It's middle of the year. It's time to look back at what I've read for the first half of the year, and to be honest, it's been mid. Like, I've had really great books, but it hasn't been an extraordinary year. You know what I'm saying? And I hope that changes um, for the latter half of the year. But yeah, it's not been amazing. It's been good. You know, I would like great. I would like marvelous. I would like stupendous. But it's been good. <sighs> Such is life. So let's start with the questions. I will have the original, if the original is still up, the person who created this tag, link down below and then the questions if you would like to do this tag yourself. They start out hot and heavy with best book you've read so far. And for me, that has to be Middle Game by Shauna McGuire. Um, it definitely is the most standout book for me um, that's not a romance. This year, I hold Roger and Dodger so close to my heart. And it's so funny because I didn't want to read the book simply because of their names. But it was so good. It was such unique storytelling. I love the world, the premise, um, their relationship with Roger and Dodger go through and experience and I just loved it like I enjoyed every bit of it it was delightful and perfect and yeah that was my favorite this year so I'm glad that I read that but then it says best sequel you've read so far this year and so I haven't read a lot of sequels because my reading has been all over the place and I feel like the most I've read are like maybe like in a romance like kind of companion series or whatever but I did recently read a young adult science fiction duology that I really enjoyed and the, the sequel is Chaos on Catnet by Naomi Kreitzer. This was recommended to me by Angela at Literature Science Alliance. I literally, she's the only person I've ever seen talk about these until recently I saw someone post about the, the first book on uh, Instagram. But they are so good. And so our main character is on the run basically with her mom. They move from small town to small town trying to stay away from her dad. And she has this like close knit community online in like this kind of like, it makes me think of like a discord server or something and uh, danger happens and they are there for her in her time of need. And there is an AI who is funny and sometimes can be a little sassy. And I had a lot of fun with it. And so I just recently read uh, th that second one. The first one is catfishing on catnet and the second one is chaos on catnet. And they sounded, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna like this, but. <laughs> It was, they were actually really good and really fun. So I'm glad that I read those. And I wish there were more, but I think it's only a duology. New release, you haven't read yet, but you want to. Um, so many. Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. Um, 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 um. Okay, I don't know where I left off because uh, maintenance came mid filming. So I'm just gonna go back to the last question that I remember. So I think I was talking about new releases that I haven't read yet. I said Something Wilder by Christina Lauren, The Woman in the Library by Sular Gentile. I can't even think right now. There's just so many and I try to keep a balance between front list and back list. It doesn't always work depending on the like library hold or if I buy the book, etc, etc. So I will be interested. I am going to do like a mid-year kind of check-in just with like overall with my channel. And I will be interested to see my balance or like my split between front list and back list because I do try to read more back list. Um, so I wonder, I wonder how much I've gotten to, but that'll be a later video. But so many new releases, if I can think of any specifically, um, when I'm editing the video, I will link them down below under the question. But right now I'm drawing a blank. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year, y'all should know by now. Babel by R. F. Wong. I am. I love getting emails about sponsorships that you know are fake. They're like, we'll pay you $3,000 for a 90 second. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you wasting my time? Anyway, <laughs> biggest or most anticipated releases in the second half. Babel by R. F. Wong, which I did get an ARC 5, which I'm going to be reading in July. Mm. But also Amari in the Great Game. It better not be pushed back anymore and The Lost Metal, 
which is The Last in Mistborn Era 2 by Brandon Sanderson. And you would say, Jessica, if that's one of your most anticipated, how are you not sure on the title? And I would say, mind your business. Yes, The Lost Metal, that comes out in November. So those are my top three. Um, I'm sure there's other things that are coming out that I'll be like, ooh, or ones I might have mentioned early in the years, but those are definitely ones that I'm going to get to. Like, obviously, I'm going to read Babel before then. I'm going to get to Amari as soon as I get it. I'm going to reread the first one. So if y'all want to join me in doing that, I don't know. We don't need to do anything official, but I'm just going to reread Amari and the Night Brothers in prep for Amari and the Great Game. I'm so ready. I know you can get an arc of it on NetGalley, but I just want the finished. I just want the, I just want her in my hands to read it. So... I especially want to know y'all's anticipated releases for the second half in case I'm missing something. Let me know. Biggest disappointment. Favorite star by Rebecca Roanhorse. It felt too short. Like it felt too short and it was way too much Narampa. Like <laughs> we didn't need all that. I love Serapio and Shiala and I feel like the first book was more them and then we had Narampa and I always forget his name. But in this one, we had Narampa. And then little speck to everybody else. And it just, it definitely was like, I don't know how many books are going to be in this series. I don't know if it's a trilogy and this was a middle book. But it definitely felt like a middle book just because it really was just getting people to into places for where the next book is going to start. It was just people journeying and aligning themselves with different people and traveling to different places. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't love it didn't hate it didn't love it and I still hate the cover I'm gonna say it every time I'm gonna say it every time but also The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemisin because I loved the fifth season the Broken Earth trilogy so much now I did not love The City We Became but that's a very different book and so reading her backlist I was like I feel like these are gonna be more similar to the fifth season and while the premise was very interesting the execution didn't work for me the characters didn't work for me I just didn't love it so I don't know if I'm gonna read the next one The Shadowed Sun I do have it actually I was talking to Angela and I, I want to give it a chance just I don't know when like I'm not like in a hurry to read it so those were disappointments biggest surprise I feel like I had a lot of these that were mostly romance just because mm, they could be really hit or miss for me but one that wasn't romance I would say again catfishing on catnet chaos on catnet just because of I had literally never heard of them and it just sounded weird like what the heck is this and they were actually really good and I like really enjoyed them um but in romance I would say it happened one summer by Tessa Bailey just because I heard so much hype around the book and a really hyped romance usually never works for me and and I had heard things about Tessa Bailey's dirty talk that people didn't like or some people did like but I loved it happened one summer loved 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 it um so I was very surprised favorite new author and they can be a brand new author or new to you and I always find this question hard because I especially when I'm not reading a lot of series I feel like I read one book by one person that's hard to say they're my new favorite so I don't I don't I don't know I don't know if I have an answer I'm trying to think of like things I've read this year I just haven't read a lot by the same author that I didn't say last year um so I don't know but I'll just mention authors who have written books that I loved this year um even if I can't solidify them as a new favorite Alexis Hall wrote boyfriend material and husband material is coming out in like August and I'm very excited but I loved uh, boyfriend material loved it uh, Mia Sosa wrote the worst best man which I loved Denise Williams wrote fastest way to fall um Naomi Kreitzer with the catfish the catnet duology I loved that um so those are just some authors that I read for the first time this year and had a really good time like I really loved their books newest fictional crush literally everybody let me stop but any person who's a love interest in romance books like I say Denver from the Christina C. Jones book was it like maybe next time I could say Wes from Fast Way to Fall um Max from The Worst Best Man uh Delilah Green from whatever about Delilah Green but then also her love interest Claire like there's I mean everybody's hot it's hottie season I don't know what to tell you newest favorite character 
what? I can't do that. Obviously Roger and Dodger, they're complicated, messy selves. I love them so much. I would also, in romance, I'm gonna say Brendan and Piper. I'm, I don't know, I'm doing pairs, I guess, from It Happened One Summer. Wes and Britta from The Fastest Way to Fall. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I have, I feel like if I had, oh, I also just finished The Ninth Rain and I would say Tourmaline from Ninth Rain and Vintage, love them. So yeah, I've met a lot of great characters this year. Books that made you cry. I did tear up at a couple of romances, like The uh, the Worst Best Man, but one that like broke me was uh, The Radium Girls. I can't think of the author's name, so sorry, I'll put it here, but that was a nonfiction and oh, rip. Like that one was tough to read, but it was so good. But yeah, it made me very emotional. I don't know if I like legit cry, but I definitely was emotional. Books that made you happy, like a lot of them. Again, I'd just be naming a lot of the ones I've already said. A ton of romances. I feel those have brought like the most joy, but also the ninth grade that I just finished because it was an epic fantasy, but it was actually fun and like had funny moments. So I've had a lot. I, I know that's not answering the question, but a lot of books made me happy, especially the romances I've been reading this year. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And I'm just like, mm. <laughs> most beautiful book you've bought this year or received and I feel like I've gotten a lot of books this year both from people and that I've purchased myself but one that stands out that I recently got was the Marvelers because this is just a beautiful cover look at those beautiful babies black girl right here and also I just cannot stop thinking about these end pages like <laughs> what I also just love this spine. I don't know if you can see that but yeah, this is just a beautiful book. Um, but yeah, I, I just was looking at my shelves and I was like, well, that one. But then I can't remember if I got it last year or if I got it this year. I know that's bad, but I'm like, well, that one. And I still, I literally can't remember because I would say the Jade, the Greenbone Saga from Alua Crate, but I think I got that at the end of the year or I might've got it at the beginning of the year, I don't remember. Also, these are not new, but I got the Edges done on the Poppy War trilogy, but I don't remember if that was the end of last year or the beginning of this year. What is time? It's all blended together. Like I have so many, they're so beautiful. Like those, uh, the Winter Night trilogy. I don't remember if I got them at the end of last year or if I got them at the beginning of this year. I literally cannot remember. So I've got a lot of beautiful books. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? <laughs> Everything. Everything! Um, I, I need to read Jade Legacy. <laughs> let's just we'll get into there need to read jade, i need to read jade legacy by the end of the year but the stress um i need to read i want to reread nevermore and then read the next two books because there's a fourth one coming out in the fall i believe um i want to read a lots away just because i got that as a gift and i need to get to it i want to get to the books like that i got as gifts i need to at least start ship of magic this year just to know if I want to continue the live ship trader, live ship trader series. I want to read Ship of Magic. I need to read that with six because I've just been buying all her books. I haven't read any of them. I need to read a Master Jin. Um, just because I've had it and I need to read it. <laughs> like, what are you freaking doing? I need to read Infinite Jest because I bought it and I need to read it. Ha! <sighs> um, I need to read How the Word Is Passed. Isabella told me I had to read it. So I have a lot, I have a lot of things. I know I will get to some of them. I won't get to all of them because such is life. I'm a mood reader. I go through slumps. I'm moving soon, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like I did this tag really fast, maybe because I just repeated answers. Like I said, I haven't had an amazing year. So I feel like the books that I really loved are a small group. And so those were ones that really worked for all of my answers. But as always, of course, I'm gonna have these questions linked down below. And so if you wanna let me know any of the questions, um, your answers, especially I wanna know what book you love the most so far this year, what book has disappointed you the most this so far this year, and then what books you're anticipating for the second half of the year. I want to know those the most. So let me know. <sighs> But this is gonna kick off a wave of like mid-year check-in kind of videos um, that are going. I'm gonna film in bulk so that while I'm moving, I have content ready. Um, so yeah, 
hope you enjoy hope you're doing well as always check out my description i'll have all these questions i'll have books ways to find me on the internet ways to support my channel if you want to join a patreon and i think that's going to be it for me but stay blessed hydrated moisturized and sunscreen and i'll see you in my next one bye